Shall you, to what degree do you think that this meeting helped Putin in the sense of actually showing that he has some form of support in the face of growing isolation? But also, if you could answer the question of how much it helped President Xi Jinping ahead of the 20th Party Congress in terms of what this means for his domestic audience back home. Mm -hmm. For Putin, of course, at minimum, this show, he at least has some international friends, right? So uh, Russia is super isolated after since the, uh, the, the, the start of the Ukraine war, but at least within the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, he could meet some other top leaders, but on the other hand, I, I think it also indicates even China has strong reservation about uh, Russia's or Putin's war in Ukraine. So uh, it's a mixed record for Putin. For Xi Jinping, definitely, this demonstrates Xi Jinping has some kind of confidence to travel abroad shortly before the party congress. And also, uh, it is showed domestically uh, to the domestic audience that he could handle international uh, uh, issues. But on the other hand, Russia-China's strategic partnership is a little bit controversial in China. I think that should also be noted. So how do we characterize the relationship moving forward if there has been some suggestion that we've seen a bit of a shift perhaps in China looking at this a little bit more critically, but at the same time you have President Xi Jinping saying they will continue to work with Russia. What happens in the form of things like trade, around energy, etc., like I said, which has been seen as an explicit sign of support for Moscow? Uh, I think uh, uh, the... China-Russia strategic partnership has uh, has will have continued uh, to uh, to exist, but it also has limitation. So on the one hand, China needs Russia's strategic sort of partnership at a counterbalance against the, the, the so-called Western hegemony. So China-Russia would continue to trade to maintain. Uh, some sort of normal economic relationship as much as they could. But uh, on the other hand, the relationship has limitation. China will not uh, provide any military support, will not provide any sort of uh, more direct uh, sort of uh, uh, diplomatic support to Russia. So I think uh, China has uh, its own reservation about Russia's war in Ukraine. So we see the both potential and limitations in this relationship. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.